We are not dealing at all with anything human. We are dealing with ancient extraterrestrial interactions with this planet going back probably millions of years and this is another important part. In my own work have been whistleblowers that have been coming from a variety of directions but the two most significant have been U.S. Navy SEALs. The entire moving Pangaea continent that we know as Antarctica, the 2012 SEAL got there by going in on a submarine coming out and said to him it was one of the most astonishing things is that they came out of the submarine into what looked like a molded piece. The other uh, Navy SEAL who was there in 2012, he's the one who came in under on a submarine to this two mile deep entrance and he said that it was astonishing that as they come out, most submarines, if they're that deep, there has to be a, some sort of a decompression airlock thing. And he said, the whole structure, they came in on the submarine, and when they move, the walls move with you with light, that the temperature stays between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit, that they have looked for the energy source. They cannot find anything that has wires. There's nothing that we would recognize and yet. If it is 33 to 34 million years old, it is still sustaining a structural integrity with pressure. You have light that is moving with you. You have this even temperature you're looking up at ceilings and there is no structure that is going up. And they are maybe 33 to 34 million years old. What he has seen with his own eyes, two miles down under ice, are hieroglyphs, nine acre rooms, that the very material of which the ceilings are made is neutralizing gravity. That we are dealing with advanced intelligences that know how to take a wall, put in at the atomic level, programming. If this exists, why? What would be any possible reason for why humanity on the surface of this planet should not be told everything there is to know and show? about huge architecture deep under the ice of Antarctica. Why?